Good morning, Mayor and Council, and thank you for having us here today with our public safety partners. As part of our legislated role of providing independent governance and oversight to the police on behalf of Calgarians, we are proud to present a proposed total police budget to you today. This budget is a result of working with the service for several months to provide strategic direction and determine what budget allocations would best deliver on councils and our priorities, while also keeping needed budget increases below the rate of inflation and population growth. The service plan is built around four pillars that align with Council's direction to strengthen relationships with Calgarians, deliver the right services, invest in infrastructure, and focus on social equity. We also added a focus to even better look after our employees. The service will also continue to work closely with partners to support other Council priorities, like downtown revitalization, transit, supporting transit police, etc., call diversion with the help of 211, mental health, like the Alex Partnership, and hosting by ensuring that the right resources and approaches are in place to address the crime and disorder that negatively impact these goals. We are asking for a tax-funded portion of the police operating budget to increase by approximately $34 million over four years, bringing the total net budget to $467.6 million in 2026. We're also asking for the approval of $77 million in capital spending, including $15 million from reserve funds. This proposed budget reduces per capita costs of policing back to 2016 levels and, at the same time, allows police to better protect public safety, better support those who serve and continue to import, sorry, and to continue the important and complex transformative work underway. It does this through efficiencies example by way of technology, innovating in ways to prevent crime and address safety, manage assets, and collaborate further with partners. We will, at the same time, continue to progress anti-racism and social equality and support employees. With that, I'll turn it over to Chief Neufeld to provide further details. Thank you, Chair Cornett. I'm Mayor Gondek, members of Council, we recognize the importance of our role working with all partners here so we can protect all Calgarians out there. It's an understatement when I say that CPS is undergoing a transformation. Calgarians have made it clear that they want a modernized, effective police service that delivers innovative and collaborative approaches to keep Calgary safe, including our most vulnerable citizens. While meaningful, thoughtful transformation takes time, we are well down the path and we remain fully committed to the process. We are continually seeking opportunities to evolve and adjust how we engage and communicate with Calgarians while also updating our internal systems to enhance equity, diversity, inclusion and anti-racism and strengthen the ways in which we support our members. With all of this in mind, we continue to foster and grow partnerships with city services and other key community organizations to ensure we're taking a collaborative and community-driven approach to the delivery of integrated services that keep Calgarians safe. The budget reflects a lot of hard work and planning as well as the high priority Calgarians have placed on public safety and transformation that will be delivered through the four pillars displayed on the next slide. I'll start with trust building. The last several years have been hard. They've shaken the vital foundation of trust between police and communities right across North America. And despite a long history of positive police community relations in our city, we're not immune to what's been a global shift. Locally, we've seen our own trust scores drop from 90% to 77 and as I get out into communities, I don't hear people telling me they want less police. With the myriad challenges communities are facing, I hear loud and clear the community wants good policing, they want equitable policing, and they want to be respected by those who serve. And that is what we will provide. Part of building trust is ensuring CPS has the resources and supports required to be there when Calgarians call. High attrition rates coupled with recruiting and training challenges during the pandemic have left CPS with a tired and depleted workforce. Increased number of employees are receiving supports for workplace injuries and wellness concerns. Some are away from the workplace while doing so. To address this issue, our service is working hard to both recruit and retain employees in order to return to full staffing. We will deliver the highest quality police services while being more accountable to and transparent with the community we serve. We will continue to advance the progress we've made with respect to equity, diversity, inclusion, and anti-racism, ensuring our organization supports every employee while over time evolving our workforce to fully represent the community we serve. 